Yo, welcome to my channel. We are still continuing with topic theory business statistics, which is data presentation. In our previous video, we looked at the first two forms of data presentation, which was text and then tabular. Yeah, so in this video, we are going to look at graphical and diagrammatic data presentation. Yeah, we shall start with the graphical presentation. Graphical comes from the word graph. Yeah, so here graphs can make a stronger visual impact than tabulated figures. Yeah, graphs make a stronger visual impact, like when you see something, yeah, than the tabulated figures. For example, pictorial presentation does not need any special training in order for you to assimilate the information from graphs. In practice, graphs are more efficient in attracting attention than other methods of data presentation. For example, an example of graphs that we have is histogram. We have the O give, the frequency polygon, the dotto graph, or scatter plot, then the bar charts. Though graphs are more efficient in attracting attention, they also have limitations. First is that they cannot show so many sets of facts as they may be shown in the table. Then the exact values cannot easily be shown in a graph. Yeah, you have to use common sense or some other sense in order for you to figure out what was graphed or what was put in that graph. Then graphs require a certain amount of time to construct since each one is an original drawing. It takes time to draw a graph. Yeah, so those are the limitations of graphs. We are going to look at the examples of graphs. The first graph we have is a histogram. Histogram, it is drawn using the frequency distribution table. So it has class and then frequency. Yeah, and for the histogram, the bars are joined or the bars are connected to each other. Then another graph we have is the bar graph. The bar graph, it also uses class and frequency like the histogram, but the difference between the histogram and the bar graph is that for the bar graph, the bars are spaced. They are not joined. They are not connected to each other. Another graph we have is the OGIVE. The OGIVE, when drawing the OGIVE, we use the cumulative frequency distribution table. Yeah, and when we are drawing it, we use the class boundaries and then the cumulative frequency. Yeah, and here we do not draw bars, but we draw lines. Yeah, and that is the OGIVE. That's how it looks like. Then the last form of data presentation is diagrammatical. Here data is represented in form of a diagram. For example, it is presented using a pie chart and a pictogram. Yeah, we are going to look at how a pie chart looks like and how a pictogram looks like. So this is how a pie chart looks like. It's in a circular form. Yeah, in a circular form with very many sections. Yeah, so this graph was showing the weights, the African American, the American Indian, the Asians, and others. Yeah, so that's how a pie chart looks like. It's in a circular form with di divided into sections. Then this is what we call a pictogram. It shows pictures. Yeah, for example, this one has the part for the name of the foot and then the part for the pictures. Pia, they show you how the piers look like. The watermelon, they draw the watermelon. Orange, they draw the orange, the apple, like that. That is what we call a pictogram. It shows pictures of different things. Yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. Share with your friends and watch my next video. We shall be introducing topic for business statistics, which is measure of central tendency.